Here's a little motivational video for the would-be online sellers out there, backed up by some statistics and storytelling. This year we marked the 5th anniversary of MarkSite.com. So the website has been up and running for over 5 years now. And there are a lot of statistics that we've gathered over these years on eBay. And I thought I would share this statistic. So for the last 5 years, we've gathered information on right around 9 million top sellers. And you know what? Only 8% of them have been selling for the last 5 years. The other 92% are no longer selling anything. And there could be many reasons for this. Maybe they went out of business. Maybe they were replaced by more efficient sellers. Maybe they lost interest. Maybe they lost money. But here's one thing for you to keep in mind. They all got replaced by people like you, the would-be new online seller. Now, if you're only thinking to get into this business and you're wondering, well, where do I begin? Why don't I share my personal story about how I got into this? And I actually stopped this because I got into other businesses. So back when I was in school and college, and I went into the college bookstore to get my first books for the first semester, I spent roughly five or six hundred dollars on those books. And this was crazy money, okay? These, these colleges, they were charging literally an arm and a leg for this. And then I quickly started to think, I've got to look for something else. I've got to look for another way to get these books. And I did. And I went online and I found really cheap alternatives from Amazon, used books. So the used book, for me, it made no difference if it was a new book or a used book, as long as I could do my homework, as long as I could follow the course. For me, it was no difference whatsoever. So then I would get these cheap books, I would do my studies, and then the semester would end and then I realized, well, I don't really need these books any longer. I was thinking, yeah, maybe I'll keep some of them because I'll read them later. But trust me, I still have some of them. You'll never read them either. <laughs> okay? I've never even cracked them open. So what happened was I went back online and I tried to sell them. And I realized, hey, I got great prices for them. Because I was buying really a lot earlier than the semester would begin. That way I noticed I would get a really good price on them. But oftentimes, the closer the semester would get, the higher the price of the books would get. So maybe I would get a book for $20 and I would sell it for $40. And this became sort of a small business for me, a niche business. I would buy textbooks early, used and cheap, and then I would place them back on the same stores on eBay and actually on both eBay and Amazon and I would get much better prices for them. In fact, there wasn't even one book that I didn't sell that I placed online. Maybe this is an idea for some of you out there. College textbooks, it's a great business, especially considering that most of them tend to use the same books over the whole country. But please remember this, if you are seriously thinking to get into this business, and you're thinking, do I do it or do I not do it? Somebody else will. If you don't, somebody will take your spot. That's how it works. New business comes in all the time. Old business leaves all the time. And trust me, there is a sea of money out there for you to make. MarkSite.com was actually a personal project. I built it for myself. I never thought I might try to potentially invite others to the project as well. But initially it was just for me. The reason I built it was to know for myself. What are the top selling items? What are the price trends? And also what keywords I should be using in my titles. That's really all I needed uh, to do. I didn't really need much, much more than this. And you know what? This project has served me really well. So that's why I share it with you. Please go on. Register. You can do a lot of things for free. I, I leave a lot of tools to be used absolutely for free by anybody. And if you want more tools, okay, maybe you buy them for $7. But anybody can afford it. I hope this helps. And I'll see you in the next video.